Hello again Onky Tonks, Southport again and like I said previously there's so many twists and turns and new revelations coming out regarding this story and it's unreal, it really is unreal. Uh, so the latest, according to Andre Walker, now Andre Walker is a, he's a blowhard on, on talk radio, he's one of the hosts and he has his own YouTube channel where he talks about this and I thought I'd talk about it myself because even though I doubt very much it would happen, it, it wouldn't happen. The case, the the crime is so serious, it wouldn't be allowed to happen. But according to him, uh, lawyers acting for the Southport suspect want the case dismissed. And that's because of the negative coverage that the case is getting. Now, if that happened, the country would erupt. Keir Starmer, the Labour government, the authorities, the police they would have their hands full. There would be people out on the streets, not just protesting, but they would be rioting if the guy got let off from committing such a, a heinous act. And I'd even go so far as to suggest that they'd even have to declare a state of emergency. They'd have to have one of those Cobra meetings and all hell would break loose. Now, doing the job I did, working with prisoners all those years ago for such a long time, uh, You'd work with barristers and solicitors and, and even judges um, in that job and no British lawyer worth their salt would even think about moving to have this case dismissed. But I can imagine the types of uh, lawyers this uh, scumbag has and I can imagine they, they would be the types to try and get this case thrown out who might even push the, oh, it's racist or... Uh, he's getting negative coverage, you know, they try anything. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And anyway, it doesn't matter what people say about the case. I mean, I've sat on enough, and I'm not lying when I say I've sat through hundreds of Crown Court cases where the judge tells the jury it doesn't matter what you hear about the case outside, that's not relevant. What is relevant is what you hear in the courtroom, the actual evidence. So really, people talking about the case, they can't affect it whatsoever because... We don't know what the actual evidence is. All we know is who he is, where he comes from, what he's done, and the Raisin and the Jihadi uh, Idiot's Guide uh, to Terrorism found in his property after he was arrested. That's all we know. Now, I've searched high and low to try and confirm what uh, Andre Walker said. I, I can't find it anywhere, so I'm just going by what he's saying. And to be honest with you, no judge would ever throw this case out because people are talking about it you know, outside on social media or the mainstream media or anywhere else for that matter. You don't get to stab three little girls in broad daylight or, or any time and get away with it. It just doesn't happen. It wouldn't be allowed to happen. And it just shows how desperate this uh, murderous scumbag's lawyers are to even contemplate this if it's true. I mean, can you imagine him getting let off and walking the streets? Case dismissed. He's a free man. The country would burn, I, I think. People would be, I mean, the police couldn't do anything, I don't think. Imagine the riots in the summer, times 100. It'll be, the public, the British public would be disgusted. And rightly so, I think I would be disgusted. Imagine being the parents of uh, one of those little girls hearing the killers just walk free, you know. Oh. Anyway, there we go. I'm past 49. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, watch your trout.